Hello, we are live on Sunday, fun day, July 21st, 2019. Steve Cypress here, and I saw some good news. I saw something on the news that there was a survey, and it was done with the 50th anniversary of the moon landing uh, in mind, which was yesterday. And it was a survey done in three different countries, I think, of 3,000 kids. So maybe they did 1,000 in each country. There was the U.S., China and somewhere else, I don't know. Um, but the good news is that, at least in the U.S., neither of the other two countries, but in the U.S., the number one response, these were kids 8 to 12, asked, what do you want to be when you grow up, or whatever the, te the, the specific uh, exact question was, but that was the idea. What do you want to be when you grow up? And they were given five choices. And there was astronaut and uh, musician and professional athlete and teacher and YouTuber or a vlogger, which is a, a video blogger, in other words, a YouTuber. And uh, great news, uh, surprising to me for the future of the US, ding, 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 we have a winner, the kids chose YouTuber. So how great was that? Second place was teacher. But I saw when this was uh, on the news, I saw it yesterday, this morning or something, and uh, oh my God, it was hard. The guy was, the guy was like, oh, he was all depressed. Oh, YouTuber, how vain. Oh, these kids just want to sit around and look at themselves on a video and take selfies all day. And like, did, why don't they want to, you know, be a fireman or a policeman like in, in the old days or an astronaut or a teacher? And unbeknownst to him, because you know, the world is just not thinking straight, uh, every single alternative he gave was a government worker. An astronaut, a teacher, a fireman, a policeman. These are all government workers. These are all the lowest of the low. Now, of course, there, we need certain services to be performed, just like we need all kinds of uh, employees as well. Our businesses are not neat, but it's great to have them. They, amazingly volunteer to be wage slaves for the few of us that have a clue. And the great news was that even though presently only about 10% of Americans own a business, anyone that says they want to be a YouTuber or a vlogger when they grow up is saying, I want to be an entrepreneur, saying, I don't want to work for anybody else. I want to be on my own. And that's surprising to me because, you know, you hear all the time. I mean, every time you hear a politician sit there and go, I'm going to bring you more jobs, I need more jobs. I mean, it's, it's cultivating this please take care of me mentality that Americans have and pretty much people have all around the world. But let's just stick to the U.S. Like, you want to be taken care of. So it's a very short step from please take care of me, you know, mommy, daddy, teacher, you know, professor job, boss, please take care of me, to, oh, and I want the government to take care of me, too. And that's where you get all this socialism. Oh, there should be free this and free this and free that, all government stuff. Or you go, you know, get a job and you get benefits and this and that and whatever, and you can, you know, mentally check out at noon and do as little as you possibly can and hate your boss and hate your job and watch the clock and, and go home all weekend and not even think about work and come back and do it again and do the basic minimum you can to get paid. Well, a YouTuber or a vlogger can't do that. They've got to provide value or else they don't make any money. They are entrepreneurs. And so what great news. So while, you know, the overwhelming majority of people still want to say, oh, you know, you don't want to do that. In fact, I can, I can get, tell you a true story. I was talking to somebody who, uh, he was with uh, his teenage kid and his teenage kid said, was graduating high school, and I was like, hey, what do you want to do? You know, he's smart enough to know he doesn't want to go to college. Uh, and I said, what do you want to do? And he said, I want to be a YouTuber. And I started helping him with the step-by-step -step exactly what to do, which, by the way, if you want help with step-by-step -step what to do to start a business, either as a blogger, a vlogger, or a YouTuber, or a plumber, or an attorney, or a doctor, or heating an air guy or anything else that you want to do. That's what I specialize in, helping people make money and put strategies together that work to make money in business. Go to helpfromsteve.com, helpfromsteve.com, and I'll help you out. Get on the phone and I'll help you out. 
And so I helped him out as a favor. He was a friend of mine, and I, and I like his kid, great kid, so I helped him out. Here's what you need to do. And then I, I asked his dad, I was talking to his dad a couple weeks later or a month later or whatever it was, and I said, hey, how's it going? I'm not going to mention his name. How's it going with so-and-so with your son uh, with, uh, you know, setting up his YouTube channel? Oh, yeah, no, you know, he hasn't done it yet, hasn't taken the action, but, but he's got a couple of interviews and blah, blah, blah. He was looking to get an internship, and uh, now he has, a, he has a job, and so, you, you know, that's, that's the trouble. These kids 8 to 12, they are up against massive forces killing their entrepreneurial spirits, their teachers, the media politicians, their parents, and they all mean well. Just like probably in your life, you've got the, mo the closest people to you looking to kill your goals and dreams uh, all the time. It's common. If that's something, you just want to talk about that. I've helped people through that. I've been through that myself a lot. Uh, it's uh, go to helpfromsteve.com. I'll help you with that as well. So, you know, kids today, 8 to 12, they say, I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to be a YouTuber. Uh, have my own channel, make my own money, get my own sponsors, produce my own content, the whole thing. It's, it's, you know, what 50 years ago a kid would have said, when I grew up, I want to own a TV station. So that costs a lot of money. Kids today want to own their own TV station, but when you do that with your own YouTube chat, they even call it a channel, when you set up your own YouTube channel, it's free. So yeah, every kid could do it, but they're going to get stopped by their parents, the teachers, media, politician. And therefore, likely their friends, their peers, you know, overwhelmingly, uh, people are conditioned to be taken care of by the government, by an employer, and not to take initiative and provide value and get paid and do it on their own. Uh, however, as unrealistic as this survey ever is to become a reality that the majority of 8 to 12 year olds in America want to be entrepreneurs when they grow up. It's going to be tough to see that happening and especially as you know more and more you see uh, the government just growing more and more there's no such thing as oh I believe in small government or I want to cut spending or there's none of that there's as you can see there's that's all gone out the window it's long passed from one party versus the other in America, at least. It's definitely both parties against all Americans. It's just how it is, and there's no end in sight to it. But at least we had a flash of hope that 8 to 12-year-olds understood, hey, I don't want to work for somebody else, especially not the government, and I want to be an entrepreneur. Oh, if only that came to pass, the country and the world would be a much better place. Anyway, we can all dream, right? And that'll do it for Sunday Fun Day. So I hope you're staying cool. I saw there's a heat wave throughout the country. So those of you who are not here in the Phoenix, Scottsdale area, where we routinely have temperatures this time of year, over 110, 115, 117, you're hitting that with the heat index and everyone's crying and moaning and complaining that like blah, 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 blah. So hopefully you make it through it. Or you, uh, if you enjoy complaining, hopefully you stay in it so you can complain some more. Whatever turns you on. Uh, have a fantastic week. And I'll be back tomorrow on Direct Mail Monday where I dip into my mailbox and I'll teach you some business lessons from one or more pieces of mail that arrived in my personal mailbox this week. Hope to catch you then. Again, you want help with starting, growing, selling, exiting a business, anything to do with making money from a small business, go to helpfromsteve.com and I'll help you out. Catch you tomorrow. Over now. Bye-bye.